like a spaceship. Konnichiwa everyone! Right now we're in Asakusa, a very popular tourist spot here in Tokyo. So here in Asakusa you can do a lot of things. You can see Senzoji Temple, an extremely gorgeous temple filled with history. You can shop and eat street food at Nakamise Shopping Street, rent a kimono and go around the area, and even ride a rickshaw. But after all of that, did you know you can ride a cruise along Sumida River from Asakusa to other parts in Tokyo? Well, that's what we're going to do today, and I want to show you what the experience is like. My name is Hannah, and this is What You Hannah Do, Asakusa to Odaiba Cruise. Woo! What you Hannah do, what you Hannah do <laughs> when they come for you. To take the river cruise from Asakusa, you need to get to the Tokyo Cruise Asakusa Pier, which is only a four-minute walk from Sensoji Temple or a two-minute walk from Asakusa Station. You can get tickets at the pier, but we highly recommend getting your tickets online in advance because popular times can easily get sold out. Plus, people who book online will get to board first, which means you get the really good seats. While waiting to board, you can enjoy a beer from the cafe in the pier and take some really cool pictures from the river. That over there, people like to call the golden unchi or golden poop, but it's actually the golden flame of Asahi. That collection of buildings is actually the Asahi Beer Hall and their main headquarters. The golden building was meant to look like a full glass of beer with foam on top. Pretty cool! You excited? Yes. <laughs> we were originally gonna get on the Hotoluna, but the sunset views from the Emeraldas would be so much better, that's what they said. The design of the Emeraldas is super futuristic. It's quite spacious for a river cruise ship and it can carry up to 100 passengers. It has a really cool looking toilet, a cafe which was unfortunately closed when we got on, priority seating which costs an extra 3,500 yen but look at that window, and a rooftop deck which I will show you later. Right now we're leaving the dock. I'm hearing some sort of anime that's being played. I'm pretty sure it's by the designer of the ship, Reiji Yamamoto. And he's a very popular Japanese manga artist. Reiji Yamamoto was the one who created like space battleship Yamato or space pirate captain Harlock. So I'm seeing quite a theme here. And this is called Emeraldas. It's one of the names of the characters in one of his animes. So I'm hearing that maybe right now. And there is a theme here because I feel like I'm in some sort of spaceship. It's very, very strange, but very, very cool. From Asakusa to Odaiba, it's going to take around 50 minutes, 55 minutes. And this is the one boat that goes direct from Asakusa to Odaiba. If we took the Hotaluna, we would stop at Kino de Pier. And some of the other water boats stop at so many different stations, or I guess piers, like stops around Tokyo. Right now, we're only allowed to stay in this area, but later after Eitai Bashi or Eitai Bridge, we can go up to the viewing deck. And I'm sure it's gonna be so pretty because it's gonna be right during sunset. Almost touch the bridge. Oh my gosh, this is absolutely beautiful. Oh, look at wow. It's, look at that building. <laughs> that, that's a very thin bridge in <laughs> between two buildings. I'm sure it's completely safe, but wow summer now in Japan that means it's extremely hot and this is such a nice way to just cool off ah oh, this feels amazing 
This is a totally different perspective coming from this boat. Wow. <gasps> right over there is Hamarikyu Gardens, and you can also see the beautiful Tokyo Tower right behind it. So Hamarikyu Gardens used to be a feudal lord land. It's the only garden in Tokyo that has a tidal pond, so it still draws water from the ocean. And it actually also used to be a hawk hunting site. Ieyasu Tokugawa used to hunt rabbits and wild ducks in that area. Unfortunately, during the Great Kanto earthquake, a lot of the buildings and trees got destroyed. But thankfully, Tokyo Metropolitan Government was able to reconstruct it and they opened it to the public. That's one of the stops you can stop at. Unfortunately, not using the Emeraldas, but the other Tokyo cruises will stop at Hamarikyu Garden. So I highly suggest you go there too. <gasps> and there we have her, the beautiful Rainbow Bridge. got to Odaiba Seaside Park. There are a lot of things to do actually in Odaiba, lots of shopping malls, lots of restaurants here and I'll show you that in a little bit. The whole trip just took us about 50-55 minutes. It didn't feel like 55 minutes especially when we got to go up to the roof deck, the view deck. It was just spectacular. I was speechless for most of the time and just looking at the view. Absolutely breathtaking. I highly recommend going on a trip like this. Anyway, let's go to Odaiba. It looks really cool with all the blue lights. Looks super futuristic. <laughs> Odaiba is a great place to go to if you want something a little bit more laid back or relaxed compared to the city center of Tokyo. There are a lot of malls, restaurants, places to chill and hang out. They even have a small ramen food court where you can try different ramen from different prefectures in Japan. A lot of photo spots. They even have their own smaller version of the Statue of Liberty and a Gundam light show near Diver City Tokyo Plaza. So give Adaiba a visit if ever you do come to Tokyo. So yeah, that was the cruise from Asakusa to Odaiba. Actually, there's so many routes you can take. You can take Asakusa to Hamarikyu Gardens, which I highly recommend. You can take Asakusa all the way to Kasai Rinkai Park, or you can actually also take from Odaiba back to Asakusa. There's so many different options, but I highly recommend you add this to your itinerary the next time you come to Tokyo. Or if you're already here, squeeze it in because it's such a fun and cool experience. Super, super different. 10 out of 10, highly recommend. So yeah, if you like this video, click like down below. And if you want to see more content about Japan, you know what to do. So until next time, Janet and see you in the next video. Woo!